How's it going everyone? Ben here, your friendly neighborhood medical student, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about how Russia's invasion of Ukraine is causing a huge humanitarian health crisis, especially among children needing vaccinations. Unless you've been living under a rock these last three-ish, two to three-ish months, Russia had decided to invade the country, the independent country of Ukraine on February 24, 2022, and war has been ensuing for the last couple of weeks since that invasion has started. And with that invasion, we see thousands and thousands of Ukrainians being displaced from their homes, thousands and thousands of Ukrainian refugees being forced to flee and live in very cramped, unfavorable conditions. There's Ukrainians that are having to live in conditions where there's no food or water. So there's things like food insecurity that's happening. A lot of hospitals in the country are going through medical shortages. Some of those hospitals are no longer around because of what Russia is doing to the country, ravaging um, entire facilities and things like that. So there is approximately 6 million people who are undergoing a humanitarian health crisis right now in Ukraine as established and stated by the World Health Organization. Actually, a lot of the facts and data that I'm going to get for this video is from the World Health Organization status report on Ukraine. So I'll be linking that uh, in the description below so that you can access it. But what I really wanna focus on in this video is talking about how kids are being incredibly impacted by this invasion that's happening in the country of Ukraine and how their health may suffer long-term consequences and we need to look at this crisis through multiple lenses and one of the main lenses is how the health of kids are being affected one of the ways that we protect young children from really deadly diseases that can kill them especially because they're adapting and growing their immune system at their young ages is through vaccinations and the world health organization actually sees that a number of childhood vaccination target ranges are going down due to the Ukrainian crisis among Ukrainian kids, making these kids vulnerable to these viruses. So right now there's about five specific uh, vaccination uh, vaccinations for certain diseases that are going down and they are below target range, but I can see this number going even further down as the war in Ukraine rages on. So. It's really important for us to know why these vaccinations are so important in young children. And those five vaccinations include the BCG vaccine for tuberculosis, the uh, diphtheria, tetanus, and pertussis vaccine, the measles vaccine, the polio vaccine, and the vaccine for hepatitis B. So what's the big deal about not hitting the target ranges for these vaccines? Well, it, it, it's 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 very well nuanced and you can look at it through a lot of different angles. Because there's so many refugees, these kids will be put into very cramped conditions, conditions where they might not have sanitary water, might have to be rubbing against other people. And most of these vaccines work for diseases that do spread in these cramped, crowded environments, such as TB. TB spreads super, super quickly in environments where you're crowded. Also pertussis. If you don't know what pertussis is, pertussis is the bacteria that causes whooping cough, which leads to a lot of deaths among young children. And whooping cough is also spread in very, very crowded conditions. Measles is highly, highly infectious. It's one of the most infectious viruses around. If one person has measles, someone 10 foot away can get measles because of just how infectious they are. So it's very important for these kids to get vaccinated, especially if they're going to be in these refugee camps or these shelters where there's a lot more risks for being exposed. So if you're not hitting those target ranges, one, you're not hitting herd immunity. You're not hitting the amount of people needed to be vaccinated to protect those who aren't vaccinated. And when you add in these crowded conditions, the risks of getting these diseases get even higher. As someone who has been in my pediatric rotation for the last six weeks, I've grown really connected to children and grown really connected to the importance of vaccinations in these young kids because when kids are not vaccinated, they become especially vulnerable to these viruses and bacteria that can lead to death. And it's really sad to know that we have these cures, we have these measures to protect children, but when we, these children are put into vulnerable positions where they have literally no control over, 
we are participating in hurting them. And I didn't even address the fact that COVID is also something that's going to be harming these young kids. I'm going to put a link down below for the Stand Up For Ukraine campaign, which is collecting donations and part of their donations will go towards vaccination effect, vaccination of efforts for people who are fleeing Ukraine or harmed by the current situation going on right now. I hope this video wasn't too depressing. I do think it's really important for me to talk about it because this is not just a political issue, but it is an issue that's harming young civilians, young children, and harming their overall health. And I feel like it's my responsibility to talk about it. So I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you'll share it with someone who may benefit from it. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter to keep up with my advocacy work and shenanigans that I get into. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. This is Ben.